Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson announced a new health care access czar today to help the city reach those in underserved communities. This czar will also help increase testing in the city. But as Jack Fink reports tonight, the city and Dallas County may actually lose key testing sites at the end of the month. As part of his ongoing response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson named Dr. Kelvin Baggett, a former chief medical officer at Dallas-based Tenet Healthcare, as the city's new health and healthcare access czar. His role is going to be trying to help us figure out um, strategies for improving testing and contact tracing and also helping us look at data. The mayor says Dr. Baggett will help identify disparities in healthcare related to the virus so that the city can address the problems as quickly as possible. We want to understand how it's moving in our community, how it's affecting people of color, low-income individuals, frontline workers. The news comes as the two community testing sites in Dallas, including the one here at the American Airlines Center, may close after May 31st. That's because the federal government, which supports this program, hasn't extended it just yet past that date. The drive through sites at both the AAC and at Ellis Davis Fieldhouse in South Dallas offer 1,000 COVID-19 tests per day, seven days a week. Mayor Johnson and Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins say they are working with the federal government to continue offering this program June 1st and beyond. It's very concerning because when you look at these four Walmarts that I announced yesterday, or the two that we got last week and the one uh, Kroger, all those put together would not be more than a thousand tests a week. Judge Jenkins says despite the help from Parkland Hospital, the county and city of Dallas can't continue the program without the federal government's help. So we don't have access to the testing kits and reagents. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.